What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. So today, it's early. It's eight-ish. I've been up for a while. Um, we're going racing today at Matt's. I went yesterday, but you know me, I always keep it 100% real with you guys. And I was highly fucking unorganized, so I wasn't really making any videos or anything and didn't have any of my stuff charged. And it, It's a hot mess yesterday, but hey, I got ready last night, so... I'm good to go. I'm gonna um, get the car out, taking the blue cat, uh, red eye, you know, she's stocked. So we already know what she's gonna do with the track. So it's a bunch of red eyes there already. And you know, they're running good. So, you know, I figured I've been playing with the blue cat, new tunes and stuff. So let's go ahead and get it done. All right. Wind goes to Pat Shields in the right lane in the 2014 Challenger. Shaker Hood, one of the early years for the Shaker Hood. Looking good. Double breakout, he broke out the least. Congratulations to Pat Shields on the victory. And I don't have any driver information on either car, so I'm just going to do the old white Mustang in the left dial. Mustang left way too soon, 2.19. 
1994 red light for the Mustang. Challenger takes a win, so that's good for the that driver. All right, yeah, man, we're out here going around. So just went in the first race of the Pony Awards. I caught an 020 light, so that was pretty good, not bad. So, you know, the dude red lighted. I should have ran it out the back door. I dialed 1120 the first time. I know the car go 10s, but I was thinking with the weather and everything, it wouldn't go quite 10 and give myself a little something to play with, which I had. I still broke out by a little bit, but, so I'm gonna dial it 1095, run it out the back door and see, cause I'm, I'm killing it on the tree right now. So that's what's up. Nicole's out here doing the same thing. So make sure you guys follow. Yeah, make sure you guys follow her on YouTube, Instagram. It's her stuff right there. So it's the Red Eye Crew, we're out here killing it. 123 on a 1215. Kenneth had a huge starting line advantage, but just did not get off of that. Giving the wind light to the left lane, 1223 on a 1215. Kenneth had a huge starting line advantage, but just did not get off of it at the big end. Give the wind to the left lane here. It's going to be John Irving and Philip Irby. They are going down to the wire. It is going to the big end, and it is breakout city for John Irving. Wind light, Philip Irby, 1131 on a 1124. John. 11 or 1270 on a 1271 he breaks out by 100 bolt drivers almost identical within seven on the tree 61 to 68 slight advantage to philip philip coming back yeah rob lentz in the left lane from mill creek utah 58 What's up, people? So I'm back from the track, man. I got everything unloaded. Uh, I had a great time. Matt's Mopars at the Strip. Well, it's Muscle Cars at the Strip now, but it used to be Mopars at the Strip. Um, it was. It's a great time. It's a three-day event. A lot of racing. Um, I only entered one class because uh, I really didn't know how the B5 blue car was running. So, you know, we were doing some tuning and I was doing a lot of uh, testing and tuning, sending things back to my tuner and he would send me some files, make some runs, send some data logs. So um, what ended up happening is uh, I only got four runs in all weekend, like Saturday, like Friday and Saturday. So it, uh, it was kind of, um, I'm not gonna talk bad about the event cause I really loved it, but it, um, it was a lot of waiting around, man. So if you guys ever go, I recommend you run more than one class. So that way you can get some more runs on your car. Um, I'd say two. Two is good. Three might be excessive. Um, but the more runs you get, the more data you're going to get on the car, and the better you should do. So race day, I ended up bringing the, the um, red eye. So I entered the red eye in. I didn't have any, um, I didn't have any time trials. But... Is my home track, so I knew what my car would run there based on the DA and everything. So I took a guesstimate, and I was pretty close. In the first uh, race, I, you know, which I'll post right here, I chopped dude down on the tree, so he wasn't beating me no how. So I got out of it. 
I ran 1118. So I dialed a 1095 next time. And uh, I cut a 061 light. But I cut the best light the last round. I was supposed to get a buy run, but it wasn't the out amount of cars because one person didn't show. So I ended up um I ended up with uh with um with like getting paired up with somebody that was like actually a pro bracket racer and his car was set up for that. So his package was tight. He cut a 059 light, right? Which is two thousands off the witch call it, right? So but he ran a, uh, he ran like five off his dial, and I ran like probably like 15 off my dial. So, you know, I couldn't catch him. But it was fun, man. You know, it was fun. I still had a good time. I recommend you guys definitely go. Uh, I met some great folks. Got to hang out with the um, uh, Challenger owners of Las Vegas, man. They had a great setup. They took great care of me. Um, I was really happy to get to meet those guys. I hang out with them. I look forward to doing some more events with those folks. It was really nice, man. Yeah, so I uh, I met Nicola Ansbury and her dad out of Cali. They had two red eyes. They're brand new. Um, she was going rounds, man. That girl, you need to follow her. I'm going to put her link down at the bottom, so make sure you guys follow her. Um, she's a fitness like guru. Uh, she races cars. She shoots guns. So you guys definitely go check her out, man. She was cutting some lights. That girl's going to be a great racer, so you guys need to follow her, man. So she's got a lot of good things coming, and her red eye is freaking amazing. That octane red, red interior, sweet car. Dad's car is sweet. He's got the triple black wide body so you know it was cool to meet up with them and anytime you guys want to come back to vegas and hang out and go racing here more than welcome to stay at the crib or whatever you guys want to do i know a guy that knows a guy so i could probably get you hooked up on a hotel room so you know that's all good um it was draft day weekend draft weekend eagles had a great draft so getting back to the super bowl baby so you guys can look forward to that i know i am so it's a good season, man, coming up. But uh, back to the Hellcats. Um, yeah, I had fun, man. So really great time. Uh, you know, I'm going to post a lot of videos and content from the weekend. So I know I haven't been doing a lot, but, like, I've been doing working on the B5 blue car. I got the rear seat delete over here. I need to get that in there. It's starting to get hot, so I need to get on that. Um, but otherwise, guys, it was great weekend. Racing was great. I love the fact that you guys are following the channel i love all the comments you sent me i promise i will get back to you after i post the video um otherwise you guys be safe subscribe to the channel like the channel hit the don't like button if you don't like the video post me a comment i will get back with you otherwise you people be safe and i will talk to you next video i'm about to go watch game of thrones i'm out peace Oh, yeah, yeah. More shout outs too, man. So I ran into Demonology. Man, it was great meeting you, bro. You got to check out the B5 Blue Hellcat. So thank you for the tips, man. I know you've been going rounds and doing, putting people on the, you know, what do you say? Snatching people's soul, you know? So that was great, man. I appreciate it. Mr. Mopari, it was great meeting you. Uh, I got to meet Shirley McDowney. So big props out to the first lady of drag racing. Uh, also, big shout out to my man, Joe Massarelli, who I got the red eye from. You saw it get delivered to the crib. He hooked me up with this thing, man. Look at this thing, dude. That thing is awesome. Yeah, man. It was a great weekend. So, again, man, if you guys get a chance to go to Mats, come to Mats. You can have